hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am gonna be talking about 10 things that actually shocked me when i came here to ireland from africa so grab a chair and a snack because it's about to get interesting Actually, one of you suggested me to talk about this and I also felt like it was interesting to me as well and exciting to talk about it so here I am I'm gonna give you those 10 things that really shocked me when I came here so far I mean ever since I came here so number 10 is gonna have to be rules are really really respected here okay I was from Africa and as some of you guys know like roles are not so respected there so when i came here i was shocked i was like wow this is actually amazing like for example when i went to offices you had to make cues you had to like you had to be on time time is so respected here guys so guys if you're from africa you actually know uh, how africans we africans we are when you have an appointment with with somebody let's say you have an appointment like at 10 but at 10 exactly that's when you start like preparing yourself taking a shower and so on so you can see that here people are like in order they respect time a lot it's even more than enough so i was like wow but something that i learned from them actually it helped me adjust with my timing with the way like i see things with the way like i take seriously um, the appointments and so on so that really shocked me a lot and i was like i'm amazed by this so yeah that's number 10 so number nine expensive rent oh my god guys okay i would say that even in africa in some countries people may be experiencing this as well but i don't think it's as much as here so i guess it's due to like many people are coming in this country and there is a serious house crisis so that's the reason why rents are actually really expensive guys to give you an example like a single room can go up to like 700 euros can you imagine that that's a lot of money when you take that to africa oh my god you can rent yourself a villa you know so that's how expensive houses are here so number eight um fashion and trends okay I don't even know what to say about this one because I used to see like um, brands like Adidas and Nikes and all sorts of brands in movies and clips and but actually now I can actually touch a Nike shoe like an original one and it was like I was amazed the way I could see like uh, Nike shops and Adidas shops, Tommy shops, Vans and it's it's simple here it's just it's just a regular thing so i was amazed um and another thing i would say about that is that people go with like trends people go with like the newest versions of everything cars phones clothes shoes everything sunglasses hats everything so when something uh, goes on trend the next thing you know is that you'll see everybody having it and wearing it and you know so this this is something I, I i i never used to see back in my country and i was amazed and another thing i would say about that like uh fashion here is seasonal what do i mean by that um like uh winter like I came in winter if I was like maybe looking for a summer clothes I couldn't find it how you can't so if you want to go like to Africa to Tanzania or wherever you won't be able to find like summer clothes in winter here so that's something that actually shocked me I was like wow this is amazing people like pay attention to the seasons and in shops you'll find that they're on point so that's something that's really good 
and by the way i actually did a video about one of the most amazing shops here in dublin i will link it uh here or here somewhere here and in the description below if you feel like you can be interested in watching it please go and watch it so let's move on to number seven number seven is transport oh my god okay obviously transport is way more advanced here than in africa uh, there is diverse there are buses there are lures that's a tram and there are like trains so it's more diverse and what's even more interesting in them is the system they use in buses and lures and everything so i can talk about each and every single one but let me for example talk to you like about the, how the buses work here uh, first of all there are like specific stops you can be in the bus and just knock knock and be like okay leave me somewhere right there no you can do that there are specific stops where the buses stop and like um, there's actually a stop button in the bus so when you like uh, near the stop that's that's near maybe your city or your estate you have to press that button and that will tell the driver that there is somebody who needs to get out and i think that's really amazing i really think that's really well organized and it helps the people and the driver as well to be on time and on point and by the way guys there is wi-fi in the buses how about that there is actually Wi-Fi in the buses. That was the killer of everything. I was like, okay, I can have Wi-Fi in the bus. I can chat. I can be on YouTube. I can be on Instagram while in the bus. That's on point. So you can already understand that it's, it's fun. It's amazing. It's well organized and it's well prepared. I just love it. Number six is social aspects. Okay. Um, I was from Africa and back in my country like people tend to like involve themselves in each and everyone's businesses and I think sometimes that's not good but guess what guys here it's totally different people mind their own businesses and sometimes it's even too much because I was talking about buses you can sit in a bus and sit beside somebody and he he or she can even look at you that's amazing when i came here i actually had these insecurities we always have in africa how about my outfit like may maybe people are going to laugh at me or maybe people are going to look at me that's 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 no it doesn't no no here nobody will look at you even when you sit beside somebody in the bus he'll he or she will be in the headphones with their phone with their phones and they will just be minding their businesses they, they don't care about whatever anybody does or whether you do anything in the streets or wherever nobody will care and i think that's totally different from what i used to experience in my country or in africa so yeah i think it's it's totally different but I actually think there is a, a downside to that because when I was in Africa, like when your neighbor maybe is sick or has given birth, even though you don't know them, you can be like, okay, I'll go and check on them. But here, no, no, no. You have a neighbor and you've been living like uh, side by side, like for two or three years, but you haven't even seen each other that's amazing so that's how it is here and there's i would say like yeah it's a culture and yeah that's how it is it's different guys it's totally different so number five was actually the irish accent guys the accent here it's it's not american it's not british it's in between there and I think it's because like they actually have the, their own language, which is um, Gaelic, I guess. Yeah, I think it's Gaelic. So actually the reason why they speak English is because they were actually colonized by the English people 
for 700 years okay africans were like okay our ancestors were colonized for maybe 60 years 50 something years but guys guess what here ireland was colonized by english people for 700 years i think that's a lot of time that's a lot of time so that i, I would say that's the reason why like their own language the gaelic language is almost it's it's not used it's not really used uh, by so many people i guess there are even irish people who don't even know their own language so that's the effect of colonization for that long time seven zero zero seven hundred years that's a lot of time so that's another thing that actually shocked me the accent is another thing so number four is actually food and restaurants okay i never knew that i would go somewhere one day and be able to find chinese restaurant indian restaurant nigerian restaurant japanese restaurant like all sorts of restaurants i was really amazed and at first when i came here i was like no i can't eat chinese food i can eat indian food i can never try nigerian food i was like so mm, so closed about trying different foods but guess what guys now oh my god i can't wait to finish this video and go to an indian restaurant and eat the chicken i love the chicken so that's how diverse foods are here like you can find any kind of food french food polish food everything so i think it's amazing because back in my country we were just stuck with our own little um variety of foods like rice beans you know those kind of things but we're not exposed to different kinds of foods so that's another thing that excited me it's so exciting but when i came here it wasn't i was like no i want sweet potatoes from burundi i can't find them i want like uh, bananas from burundi i couldn't find them when i came i was like really really not ready to try any kind of food like different food from like food that food that was different from what i knew but there was actually somebody who forced me i would say he forced me or pushed me to be open to eat and uh, to try different foods and yeah maybe that's that will be a subject for another video maybe i'll be able to reveal that somebody to you guys one day but he also played a big role in helping me be open to trying different foods yeah number three the weather i actually came here when it was winter and i was from burundi where it was it could go like up to 35 degrees can you imagine that and then i came here where it was four three two degrees okay i was hit by the weather and yeah and another thing another interesting thing is like the irish weather is like i always say that it's confused because it, it can go to winter summer spring in one day guys like in only one day it changes a lot it changes a lot and it's amazing so i was hit by the weather i wasn't really used to very very cold like places but here i am now i'm used to it and i'm happy okay let's move on to number two number two is what guys the movement of people in the city center guys okay i used to see like this thing in movies like um seeing people moving like in masses in the streets and i thought it was like something from the movies but guess what here it's real it's real like people move in so many different directions from monday to sunday at any given time of the day it's just amazing i don't know why i up to this moment ask myself where do these people go like where are they from where do they go 
every time people are moving in masses it's just amazing so it shocked me because i obviously never used to see that in burundi in my country but here that's how it is that's how it is and yeah it's different it was different for me yeah okay 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 guys number one the number one thing that actually was like the deal breaker of everything okay guess what it is guys i'll give you five seconds to guess yeah so what is it it's the customer service oh my god guys okay i was from africa i used to go to the bank and be in the queue for two hours and then you would see how like the people in service were very slow and they were like angry at customers and it was like okay do we know each other why are you angry at me so and then afterwards they'll be like okay we're closing down you've been waiting for two hours and then they are closing down on you before you get your own money yeah it's not easy but guess what guys here is totally different people are so welcoming you go in somebody's office and they just smile at you they welcome you they respect you and you see that they're actually ready and they're pleased to help people and that's something i loved so much it touched me a lot africans we need to learn we need to learn there are so many things that we need to learn so this is the very number one thing that shocked me a lot it really really shocked me i was like i'm amazed i'm amazed the way like things are so quick people are looking forward to serving you as quick as possible it's it's just amazing so that's the number one thing guys i hope you enjoyed this video i think i am going to end my video here give it a thumbs up if you like it and share with your friends comment down below guys comment down below if you have anything that shocked you when you moved from your country to another country please tell me i want to hear your stories i want to hear your experiences anywhere so stay tuned guys for the next video bye i'm gone Boom. oh wait wait, wait 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 guys wait i forgot to say something please please subscribe to this channel if you haven't it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be interesting in the future days i have so many so many projects that i'm cooking for you guys so please subscribe bye Thank mm -hmm. you.